Well, hello. Welcome back to the break. Let's see what fresh madness we got this week. Blood. So much blood. You know, one minute, Gunnar Nelson is posted up in full mount on Alex Oliveira at UFC 231, aiming an elbow down at his face. The very next instant, you know that scene in The Shining where like the elevator door opens up and the blood just flows down the hallway? That, just that, all over the place, so quickly. Now, I've been covering this sport for a decade, watching it as a fan for longer than that. I've seen some kind of gnarly stuff, stuff there that kind of made me squeamish even watching on TV at home. I've never seen anything like that. So imagine my surprise after seeing other cowboy bathed in his own blood to then see a picture of him later that same night smiling as his face gets stitched up. What would it take to make that man unhappy? That's what I want to know. Like, what's, what's a worst case scenario for him? Having to stay home and keep all his bodily fluids on the inside? I also saw plenty of blood in the main event, though. I mean, Max Holloway, he smashed Brian Ortega's nose early on and swelled his eye up like a grapefruit to force the stoppage after four rounds. If they hadn't made him stop, I think Brian Ortega would probably still be out there trying to give it back to Max Holloway, who'd still be out there having a good time trying to piece him up on the feet. But you know, it is a good stoppage. You get the TKO win for Max Holloway. I think you also have to say that we saw the best featherweight title fight in UFC history. Because if it's not this, tell me what is it? Just kidding, don't tell me. It's this. There's no discussion. The question now is what do you do with Max Holloway? Does he stick around at featherweight, defend the title some more? Does he go up to lightweight and fight you know, basically anybody? Any chance we could convince Conor McGregor to run it back? Robot 12. Tell you the truth, I'd be up for any of those options. They all sound pretty good. What I will say is I am 100% officially done with anyone who so much as even mutters Floyd Mayweather's name. I did it. I said his name just, just now. Does that mean I'm done with myself? I have to cut myself out of my own life? I am, I am actually quite toxic to me. Hammer, hammer go smash. Yeah, I have a serious question. Does Tiago Mejeta Santos even know how to throw a jab? Like, did anybody ever bother to teach him? Or do they just have like a fun experiment where they're like, hey, what happens if you equip a fighter only with power shots? He turns into a terrifying monster, apparently, is what? Hey, let's check in and see what's happening over on Colby Covington's Twitter account. Go over to betmybookie.com. Make your bank accounts great again. Nope. No, no, that was a terrible idea. Let us never, ever, ever do that again. Ever. What's up, all you nerds and virgins? Hammer. Hammer go smash.